this is a four poster feeder that we have at Highland Hill Farm and we use this to feed deer and other wildlife at the farm and as you can see in this picture little squirrel and raccoons come up to this feeder but we have this feeder here to feed deer primarily because deer is the biggest vector for carrying ticks around on our farm and it's important that we control the tick population because we get claims from our employees when they get bit by a tick for Lyme disease which drives up our workman's compensation so we've started to put the four poster feeder in in order to help control the deer tick population the four poster feeder is very effective in helping control the deer tick population in an area because it's been tested by the u.s department of agriculture and found to be upwards to 92 to 98 percent effective over a two-year period in eliminating ticks from an area now we do also sell these deer feeders at Highland Hill Farm along with trees and shrubs that we raise. It's a low use feeder. In other words, the deer only eat about a pound and a half per deer per day of whole corn from the feeder, which means you don't have to have a lot of corn to feed a bunch of deer because a deer could eat upwards to 50 pounds of food a day, but corn only a pound and a half. So it's not a high use feeder, but the deer do frequent it enough. And when they do, they get a tick aside on their ear that kills the Lyme tick. It's the same tick aside that you use on your dog. And also you spray on your clothing to keep deer ticks away. It is an effective way of managing the deer tick population. And it's sort of funny because why does a tree farm want to encourage deer to come to the farm? Well, just because of that. But notice, if you will, that we're growing Norway spruce in this area. Norway spruce are a very resistant tree to deer browse. And so we have very little problems with the deer damaging these trees. On other sections of the farm where deer are damaging trees, what we do there is we fence it off with an eight foot high fence. We also have a, a hunter access program at Highland Hill Farm where you can come and hunt on some of our four different farms that we have in Bucks County. All we ask is that you call us in advance, you get a predetermined time when you're going to come out, and you bring us something that we can use on the farm. Usually we have you bring a, a bag of whole corn or maybe a, a box of uh, ammunition that we might need or sometimes people bring us a bottle of wine but we just make it a nominal thing so that you know you're providing us with something and we're providing you with something our farm is located on route 313 in fountainville pa we have three farms in that particular area and one in dublin about four miles away we also have farms that we lease out for hunting in Bradford County, Pennsylvania, and in New York State. And we also have places where you can hunt on our ranches that we have in Montana and New Mexico. So if you're an avid hunter and you like to hunt deer, Highland Hill Farm has plenty of deer opportunities, as well as we also have this deer tick feeder bait station that we use and we sell. You too, if you have a property and have deer, should have this feeder. And it is legal to use in an area where you're hunting, but you do have to go through, if you're in Pennsylvania, through the Game Commission and get a, 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 a permit for having the, the deer tick feeder on your site. And then hunters can hunt by it. But you have to have a hunting license. The thickets provide shelter and food for a variety of wildlife species. A well-designed thicket will provide food sources, nesting sites, and protection from snow, ice, and predators. Thickets can be part of a restoration plan used to stabilize a stream bank or used to address an erosion problem. These plantings can also provide other benefits to landowners such as a sight and sound barrier or as a windbreak. This video is about a plant we recommend for use in establishing a thicket.